In this video, I am going to show you how to build a jig to install a Showa Atlas 720R onto a waterproof Ultima Dry Glove system. First thing you're going to need to do is go to your local home improvement store and purchase a couple 4 inch PVC couplers. Next you're going to need a hack saw or a table saw or a jig saw, any kind of saw where you can cut one of these couplers into a smaller piece. Also you're going to need to cut a line into it so you can go like this, it makes it easier to get into the glove. Uh, next thing you're going to need is a drill and a drill bit. This is an 1164 inch drill bit. Um, I drill a hole about a quarter of an inch way down and I screw in a GoPro screw. This makes a retention system for the O-ring. It makes it a lot easier to install. So here's the O-ring over the retention. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver here. You can use anything you want to give you leverage. I'm just going to rotate it around 360 degrees. and pull the screwdriver out. That prevents your fingers from getting pinched. You can just put it over this coupler without that, but it's miserable. We'll remove the GoPro screw now. And we take the uncut factory side and put it on top of the PVC coupler. We then take a piece of duct tape that we've cut to size and this, what this does is it covers up the crack in between the two PVC couplers. It allows us to slip our O-ring onto the coupler that is cut to size. So we're going to just rotate this up. Once it's on about the center of that coupler, we're going to remove the duct tape. Okay. Now we have our O-ring on its uh, three-quarter inch PVC coupler. Going to crack it like that. It makes it a little easier to install the glove. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat up the glove a little bit in some uh, water. Grab a paper towel to wipe it off. This is some hot water. It just helps make the glove a little stretch here. Dry it off really quick. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pre-stretch the glove. The glove is pretty stretched. You'll notice on the extra larges, there's a pink line. On the uh, extra extra larges, it's a brownish line. Um, we're going to use that line as a guide, but really, we just want to get this glove over the coupler. Now, this part's going to take me a little bit, so please bear with me while I work through it. I'm holding the O-ring with my finger so it doesn't slip off the uh, PVC. Makes it slightly more difficult to do this, but it's safer. Moral of the story is we want to get this um, inner overlap to be about the length of our PVC coupler. Um, you'll notice over here it's a little uneven, so I just need to work that through. And now that I have it about where I want it, the next thing I need to do is expand this inner ring. And I'm just going to grip it nice and tight. And again, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, especially with these extra large gloves. With the extra extra large gloves, there's a little more cup diameter. All right, now we're going to continue to get a little more of the ring. I'm trying to get it even all the way around. So right here you'll see I have, it's perfect, but then here you can still see some of the PVC pipes. So I gotta keep working this. All right, so now I have it mostly all the way down to the bottom of the white PVC coupler. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Ultima ring, uh, make sure the orange O-ring is face down, and I am just going to install this inside the ring. And you'll notice it just kind of fits perfect. Now this won't work, so what we have to do is let's just use the tool that came with the Ultima dry glove system to create a little gap. I'm just gonna make that gap all the way around the glove.
Once I have that gap all the way around the glove, I'm going to leave this in there and I'm going to just pull down on either side of the O-ring. Alright, then I'm going to take this out. And I'm just going to very carefully rotate this and the O-ring will fall into place. Alright, it is completely on the glove. Now we got to get the PVC coupler out of here and it is a lot more difficult on these 720Rs than it is on the 620s that I typically used to use. So let's get this o-ring out. We gotta find where that crack is and then just uh, re-crack it and then we just gotta kind of use like pressure on the inside to turn it sideways. All right, I'm almost there. All right. Now I'm just going to pull really hard. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. All right, finally got it out of there. Okay, let's look at the inside here. You'll notice you want to see a little bit of the blue all the way around. That means we've got a perfect seal. Uh, this glove is almost installed. Um, the final thing we need to do is put this outer ring on. I don't really need to show you how to do that. It's not too difficult because um, it goes in on the outside. And that is it. I uh, hope this video helped. Took me a while to come up with this process for these 720Rs. You can revert to my old video on how to do the 620s. Uh, have a great day and let me know if you have any questions or comments.